Hi, this is Dave Golly from Pentagon Solutions and we're taking a look at uh, Building Design Suite for Revit 2013. Um, you'll see I'm on the Ultimate Edition which means that I don't need to have separate installations for my Revit Architecture, Structure or MEP. It's actually all self-contained within the one uh, product. So it simply means if I create a new project um, that I've got my choice of construction templates in here and I've access to all the families and the various libraries for the three different products. So I'm going to create a new structural template and what I'd like to take a look at today is creating a very, very simple custom tag. So my structural um, tab on the ribbon, I'm going to create a simple beam. I'm going to change the level of detail to fine. Pop the scale, say to 1 to 20, and I'm going to tag this. So the structural tel um, template does have some default tags in here. So I'm just going to simply say tag by category. And you can see it's labeled the beam. So it's labeled at UB 102 by 25. So that's the size of the actual beam. What happens if I want to put the type of steel or the type of material in against this? Well, we can actually edit the existing tag. Um, what I would recommend probably doing is edit in the family. And the first thing you want to do is save it out. Save the family out. So save as family. Because you don't want to um, save over the original. You're creating a variation of it. And what I'm going to do is call this M structural framing tag with material. So again, these families that could be pointed towards the server. In this case, it's just towards my local hard disk. So you can see the outline box where the tag actually comes from, and you can see the element inside, which is the label. So if I select the label and go to edit, you will see the various element properties that actually belong to the structural framing member. So we've got assembly code, um, camber side cost, etc. And again, all these can be put in against the um, actual label, plus you can create custom ones. In this case, I'm just going to simply say I want to have the structural material. I'm going to add that to the label and I'm going to hit OK. So you'll see I'll probably need to change my um, box that I have around this. And again, the box isn't mandatory. You can um, have it labelled without the box very, very easily. And I'm just going to stretch this out a wee bit. And I'm going to save the tag. Now it's saved, I'm going to load it into my project. Um, you'll see this tag doesn't change. Um, you'll see that when I'm in the command now, it actually is trying to put the new tag in. So I'm just going to hit escape. So if I select the existing tag, and on the element properties, I can pull down and bring in my new tag, like so. So you can see in here, it's actually very clearly picked up the level of steel from the properties. Again, we can change that in the properties. I could go in and change it to a different grade of steel. Hit OK. And again, it will physically update on the actual tag itself. You can see that's now 265. I'm David Golly from Pentagon Solutions. Thanks for listening.